Okay, um, now what about plug-in instruments? They are still plug-ins, so we're still going to use the plug-in button, the learn button, but for uh, controlling instruments and going into the different instrument modes, we use the learn plug-in button in combination with upper shift. So the first press with upper shift of the plug-in button, the learn button, takes us into instrument mixer view. All first press of the mode buttons takes us into the mixer view. So we're now in instrument mixer view where the pot at the top for controls one parameter of the instrument for each channel on the mixer in, in whichever bank of eight you're in. Now we're in the first bank of eight and you can see that by the white line underlining this bank of eight channels in the mixer there. So uh, only the first three channels have got instruments on because I've installed three instrument channels here and tracks. Okay. So these three LEDs have got something on you know they're, they're illuminated because these three channels have got an instrument on them. These five channels don't have an instrument so the LED displays show no light at all and they're blank. Okay so we're in instrument mixer view. The pot at the top is dedicated to one parameter of the instruments per channel in the mixer and the parameter is opening the instrument. You just press that pot and it will open the instrument for whichever channel you press. So, and that's regardless of which channel is highlighted and selected in the BCF and on Logics mixer. So for example, I can open my plug-in for the second channel by pressing this pot. There you go. The plug-in instrument pops up and then the brain just shifts into instrument channel view with the dot. Okay, now what we don't have like with the Q channel view and the plugins channel view is there is no page number following the dot. Okay, even though our setup panel still has the display mode set to name. Okay, okay, this is a bit of a bug. We still do have page numbers, but they're, they only occur when you scroll up and down the pages. Okay, so I'll show you. So we press the pot in instrument mixer view, that opened the plugin for that channel and we're now in instrument channel view and all the pots are controlling the parameters of the open plugin synth in pages okay and you access up and down those pages the same as for the EQ bands and the same as for the plugin parameters the plugin effect parameters you use the lower shift and the left and right cursor so that's page one page two page three and page four and that's as far as it goes there are four pages of control parameters for the EVP88. And now you see when you step up and down the pages using the lower shift and cursor left right you do get the page display. But sadly it doesn't stay there once you finish stepping up and down the pages. That is a pain but that's just how it is I'm afraid. Okay and then to close the instrument after you've you know tweaked the parameters hold down upper shift and press the plug-in an instrument button again, the learn button, and you go back to instrument mixer view. Okay, so instrument mixer view and pressing the illuminated pots for the particular channel, that's one way of opening your instrument into plugging instrument channel view where you're editing the controls with the top pots. The other way of opening your instrument is to go straight into instrument channel view, okay, from any of the different modes, either plug-in mode, EQ mode, or fader and pan, or even send mode when we get to that. Okay, and what happens then is, like with the plug-in effects, when you go into that uh, instrument plug-in channel view, it will open the GUI ready to edit. Okay, and the plug-in instrument that opens is the one on whichever track is selected, or whichever channel on the mixer is selected, when you go into instrument channel view. So, for example, if I choose the first channel, okay, when I go into instrument channel view by pressing this twice, it will open that instrument and we're into instrument channel view and we're now editing its parameters by pages. Okay. That's another way to open your plugin instrument. <coughs> Whichever way you use to open the instrument, once it is open and you're into this instrument channel view where you're controlling the parameters by page, and the plugin GUI is open, you can then change to any other mixer channel that's got an instrument on it, and the GUI will update 
and the BCR, BCF will update and you're then editing the parameters for that particular instrument on whichever page you happen to be in when you shift to another instrument. Okay. Oh, i shift and close, go back to instrument mix of you. Okay, so that's the two different modes for opening your instruments and how to control the parameters. Again, like with the plugins, it's important to make sure that your setup here, the parameter page shift mode is set to by page so that when you page up and down, you're stepping up eight parameters and eight parameters and down by eight parameters rather than one parameter, one parameter, one parameter, and etc. Okay, so let me open the ESM, I mean instrument mix of view, so I can open the ESM by either pressing that part or by selecting that channel and going straight into instrument channel view. And then it pops up and we're editing the parameters. So the parameters, we're on the first page of control parameters for the ESM and the order of the parts currently is, starting at the first part, mix, glide, cut off, resonance, filter intensity, filter decay, volume decay, volume, and go to the next page of parameters, then I've got my filter velocity, then the octave, now this pot is controlling something because it's got an LED display but nothing's moving on screen so it must be, if you turn a pot which is active and has a lamp but you don't see anything on the screen move then it must be one of the hidden lower parameters sure enough it's the tune look but you can press any pot just like with the EQ and the plugins to reset that parameter to default okay after that we've got the velocity volume velocity then the overdrive and then this pot is completely blank so it doesn't have a function and then positive bender range negative bender range reset those okay so that's it there isn't a third page of parameters that's as far to the right as I can go. Okay, so let's say I wanted my ESM to have different controls. I didn't want them in that order. On my first page of controls, page one, for editing the ESM, they're currently mix, glide, etc. I want them to begin with the first pot controlling cutoff, then resonance for the second pot, and then I want so I, w I want the pots to be in this order starting on the first page on the first pot working up. I want them to be cut off, resonance, then my three filter controls, and then followed by the other parameters. At the moment they're not, they're mix, glide, then I get my cut off and resonance, then my first two filter controls, but then it goes off to some volume parameters. You can change that joy of joys, okay? Uh, basically close the plugin, go back to instrument and mix of you. You go to your hard drive here, right? You want Macintosh hard drive, Application Support, Logic, Plugin Settings, and here's your list of plugins. This is Instruments and Effects. So there's the ESM folder, and inside it there's this CS Parameter Order Playlist. Okay, now the ESM doesn't have that many controls, look. Okay, that's all it's got. But if you, but even still, I want these to be in a different order. But if you look at a synth like the ES2, this is its parameter playlist of controls. I mean, just look at how many parameters there are. I mean, do you fancy stepping up and down by pages on the BCF looking for which for these parameters amongst this huge list? So, of course, you want to put the most common controls that you want to control when you're editing that instrument on the first page of parameters on the BCF for editing, your most common parameters. So let's go back to the ESM. I'll open its playlist and I'll drag this off. Okay, there we are, there's the playlist of controls and I'll open the ESM again. So they're side by side. I'll just drag this set off out, set up out, out of the way. Okay, so I can change these parameters. At the moment it's set to mix, glide, cut off, resonance, blah blah blah. And that's what we've got. Mix, glide, cut off, resonance. But I want cut off and resonance to be first. So I chop the mix and glide out, command X, just move that up one, and I'm going to put the mix and glide after the octave, 
paste them in. Now I've got cut off resonance, filter intensity, filter decay. I'm going to bring my third filter to control my filter velocity up and put it under filter decay like that. So after filter decay, I've then got volume decay, volume, octave mix, glide, tune, blah, blah, blah. All right, but the main thing is I've now got the first five controls is my cutoff resonance followed by my three filter controls. And of course, you can change the order of these other ones that follow that into any sequence that you want, any order you like. So go to close that and save. Okay, and now you have to close Logic. So I'll close that plugin. Back to instrument mix of you. I'll close Logic now. The whole program, right? Logic, quit Logic Pro. Save. Okay, dope. Now I'll wait for Logic to fully close. Now I'll reboot it. Okay, now open that song again. Okay, now one thing you have to do when you've opened Logic freshly is just go to Logic Pro Preferences, Control Surfaces, Setup, and just make sure, because this doesn't seem to stick, make sure this display mode is set to name, which means that your page numbers will appear, and also just double check that your parameter page, shift mode is set to by page, and your relative change mode for the pot fineness is set to fine if you want it fine. Okay, just make sure all that's Okay, so let's now I'll choose the first channel with the ESM on. I'll go to instrument channel view and the ESM opens. And now will those parameters be in the correct order? I'll bring that ESM playlist over again so we can compare them. This is the new list I've ordered after and then I've shut logic and opened logic again. Has it worked? Yes, cut off. Resonance, filter intensity, filter decay, filter velocity, as in the list. Cut off, resonance, filter intensity, filter decay, filter de velocity. That's my first five controls, followed by volume decay and volume, and then my octave. And then on the next page, I've got my mix, glide and the tune which is invisible, it, the tunes down here, the tunes down here, tune, reset. But I can, I, you know, everything that follows my cutoff resonance and my three filter controls, I can also arrange those into any order. After the filter, this filter velocity control, the, thir the fifth parameter, I could then have my mix, my glide and my overdrive, you know, whatever I want. All right. Simple as that. So you can change the parameter of which controls will be in your list stepping up from the first page, first part, for every single plugin absolutely uniquely. And then you just have to save them. And to make that active, you just have to restart Logic. That's brilliant, right? Because it means you can put the most popular controls that you want to use for each individual plugin effect or plugin instrument in the right order on the right page that you want when you go into editing it. Okay? The only thing to be sure of is that, of course, this is in the Macintosh hard drive application support library. So, once you, if you make changes to these parameter order playlists for plugin effects or instruments, you want to make sure you back up this plugin settings folder because if you reinstall Logic, this will be overwritten with the library and you'll lose all those settings. So, you want to back this up just like we backed up our. Channel strip settings, for example, if we're creating custom channel strips in the Logic library. Okay, there you go. Instruments. And I hope that's been useful.